Hey everyone, welcome to this week's PHP REST API tutorial. Where we're going to be building a very basic PHP REST API using core PHP principles. And basically we're going to be implementing super advanced REST API uh, techniques, but we are going to be looking at the main parts of a REST API, which will get you up to speed quite quickly and start using REST APIs and also start building your own basic REST APIs so that you can use them and consume them in your applications. So basically, we're going to start off with uh, just basically downloading something called Postman, which allows you to test your uh, REST APIs. And then we'll start by building out a basic PHP script, which will do some REST API uh, functions for us. And then also, I'm just going to go over some of the basics just so that you understand where everything comes from. Then we'll move on to running it as a server. And then finally, we'll start testing our REST API. So guys, before we get started, I just want to say, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so now and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any further tutorials. So now we're going to basically download Postman and uh, I'm just gonna bring over this browser window so I can show you how to get it. You can just Google Postman install. And in the first little link here, will take you to the Postman page. You can go and download it for your operating system. I've got Windows, I grabbed uh, the 64-bit version. Mine's already installed. Uh, you should be able to install this quite easily. So go ahead and do that and then just get Postman running uh, on your system. And then let's get started with the basics of this REST API. So first of all, I just created a simple folder, a simple REST API and index.php. And then what I'm going to do now is just open up the tags like this. And then we're going to start just looking at one very important variable, which PHP gives us, which is going to help us uh, work with this REST API. I'm just gonna print it out so that we can see what it looks like. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to structure this so that we can build out the basics of the REST API. So what we'll do to run this as a server, we'll type PHP in our terminal, minus S, and we'll create it on the local host. And we'll just bind it to port 3000 and we'll use index.php to serve it. So now I'm just gonna bring over the browser window so that you can see what this looks like. So if you go and type in localhost port 3000 in your browser, you'll get this data being printed to your browser. So the important thing here that we need is this request method. So basically, we're just going to check on all these different request methods, and then we'll basically do an output for each. So what I'll do is I'm gonna grab this little key over here. I go back into our code editor, and we're just going to start off with a switch statement. So we'll do switch and we'll use our server variable and we'll just paste this in here to get our request method. And then we're going to have a few cases. So one is gonna be post and we'll just put a break and we'll have a case, uh, maybe delete is another method that we can use. Another common method is a put request. Uh, just don't let the auto completion do that. Um, then we'll have a basically there's a get request as well, and we'll just put a break. And then just for additional error checking, we'll just put a default one like this, and we'll just do an echo not yet implemented like that and a break all right so then we just need to close this off and that's the simple part of the rest api our editor is complaining about this case we shouldn't have that case it should be just default save that off and now we're going to go ahead and run this again so we need to just say control C and then just start up our server again. And now you'll see that it still works. 
But now we need to just implement something for each of these methods. I'm just going to kill this. And then just to keep it really simple, I'm just going to say echo add. So post method conventionally gets used to add data. A delete uh, is what it says. It's to delete data. So we'll just put delete. Put is basically to replace a data set. So I'll we'll just say put. And then a get is usually just to get some data. So I'll just call this fetch. Right, so if we now run this as a server and we bring over Postman. And what you'll do here is you'll basically go over to, uh, I think it is File, New. And then you can go and create a request. And then you can basically, you'll get this little window, which you'll, you'll be able to put your little URL of your REST API in. And then you can go ahead and just send a request. So we're still printing out our server here. So let's just comment that out and then restart the server. And let's try again. Now you'll see it says add when we do a post. We change this to put. It's doing a put. Do a get. Does a fetch. And then if we do a delete, it does a delete. So you can see this is very simple to just create that part of the REST API. Now we're going to do something which is more REST API like, and we're going to create a JSON string, which we can then pass back to Postman. So I'll just start off with a JSON array. And I'll just put it in a message and we'll just do a null message by default. And then what we want to do is instead of this echo, we want to Go ahead and just do JSON and we set the message index and we'll do the exact same thing for all of these. We'll just replace these echoes like so. And then at the end of our little switch, we want to just JSON encode this and print it out. So we'll pass in that JSON variable and let's run this again. And let's bring Postman over and test this. So now you'll see when we delete, it will have this JSON string message delete. And likewise, post, etc. So now something else you might want to do at some stage is bring in some headers so that's usually when you have an auth token so i'm going to show you an example so if we do headers here and we basically create a new header and we call this token then you might have a little token which is a very weird string which allows you to authenticate a user so then you'll have to be able to pick up these headers and pass them in php so i'm going to show you how you can get that data so before we send, we're going to re-enable the server variable. I'm going to restart the server. And then we're going to hit send. Now if you scroll down, you'll see something here called HTTP underscore token. So what it's done now is it's basically taken the header. And it's created a variable with uh, HTTP in uppercase and then R. Basically, we passed in token, but it made it uppercase as well. So for you to be able to access this header, you could just use this HTTP token. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to say just something very basic like this token and we'll make it null over here. And then inside of here, we'll make it JSON token and we'll make it this little token of ours. So we'll use server and we'll make it HTTP token. And we don't actually have to do it in this switch because it's going to be in general for all. So I'm going to do it right outside of here like that. Then I'm going to stop this server 
and I'm going to comment out our server variable print here and start it up. So now what we can do is we can get Postman involved again and we send a request. Now you'll see we have this token and we have this message. So now what we can do, we've got a token which we can authenticate on. So why not just do a little bit of a basic authentication? So you will probably do this with a database and uh, actually verify this. But for now, I'm just going to do a hard code to show you the principle of how to work. So you can do an if, and you can basically then say, if the server HTTP token is not equal to this token, then basically just go ahead and throw an error. So we'll just basically do a die and we'll then do a JSON encode and we'll create an array here that says auth and then we'll just say failed like that. So basically when this executes, nothing else will execute here and we'll just get this error. So we'll try this now. So with the way it is now, it should authenticate. So, okay, maybe it's because of these uh, semicolons. So let's uh, just choose a different token. Let's make it one, two, three, four, five to keep it simple. And then we'll make it one, two, three, four, five in our code as well. And uh, let's uh, just stop our server again and start it up. So now when we try it, we basically, we find we authenticated. If we change our header to something else and we send, we'll get an authentic authentication failure. This is a way that you can actually authenticate with a REST API. And as you can see, this is a very simple example of a REST API. Uh, REST APIs generally have other things like protection. It's got uh, validations, all sorts of things that go into it. But this is the simplest form that you can build just to start out with your applications and just get some REST API going. So guys, that's basically the end of this tutorial. I hope it's been helpful. And if you liked it, please like below. If you have questions, please leave some questions in the comments. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.